Hey, welcome back to part two. Don't know why my freaking camera just, you know, called on me. But yeah. That's weird. I mean, like, it's not like they're giving you a big whole sheet that you have to actually cut out. You know, this is where the sound hole comes out. This is, you know, where the power and everything is. So yeah, that's kind of silly. Soft card. To enable easy application without bubbles. So you get the little, you know, plastic disposable credit card. Includes a cloth for keeping your display clean. Okay, so I guess the only thing that I can see in here that's kind of good is, you know, the little cleaning cloth. But yeah, I mean, really? So let's open this up if I can figure out how to get the knife in here. Wow, they actually used some pretty strong tape on here. Yeah, here's everything that we get. Screen protector. I don't know how good you can see it, but a little plastic clay card and the queen cloth, which, you know, I can't really complain about the queen cloth because, you know, it's a queen cloth, so it's pretty good. Here's our case. Kind of misleading, okay? I mean, if we look on the package, it looks like it's going to be a big old giant case, doesn't it? And when we actually get it, it's about the standard stars that we get from about any other Nintendo Switch card holder and case that they made on the market. There was, you know, a couple little clamshell one, there was a black clamshell one, there was another one from uh, Power A, I think it was, that made one. Yeah. Oh my god, when you crack it. When you open up the lot, it almost feels and sounds like you're going to break it. I mean, closing it sounds like you're closing it, but... Yeah, I don't like that bit of popping sound. It really sounds like you're breaking something. So, Nintendo Switch card. Put that in there, and... Just seeing that it could hold an SD card, and... Let me see if I have any SD cards. So, yeah, it's just the removable SD card. So, this little piece, this piece. I thought that you put an angle and then slide down there because it does look like this one slot it for, you know, SD cards. Apparently not. You just stab it in there. Now, here comes the fun part and see how good they are when they said easy, ins easy to insert and remove games. Let's see how easy it is to remove games. Actually, it was pretty easy to remove a game. Now for the SD card. Um, yeah. You just gotta put your thumb on it, hold your thumb down, and slide it. And it comes out pretty easily. And now this is something that a lot of people are gonna be asking me. Can you put an SD card and a Swiss card in the same little holder slot? So, let's get the SD card in there and Swiss card. And da-da-da, as you can see from the back here, SD card and this, the uh, Switch game. So, yes. Because I know there has been other ones that, you know, you have to sacrifice a game card slot just to put your little SD card in there. And then there's other ones that, you know, it's hard to get them out and stuff. But this one actually kind of is somewhat good, you know. Put your card in there and you can put this there, but if you still need to add more games, you just double it up, lay it on top there, like a little memory card sandwich. 
it's a data sandwich. Data on the memory card, data on the game card. It's a data sandwich. Of course, it would be more of a sandwich if it had something else on there from the other side, but yeah, anyway. But yeah, like I said, the material feels pretty good. The only bad thing is that, you know. Okay, why is this not closing anymore? Huh, it's not lining itself up. There we go. Now, snapping and close sounds okay. Open it, like I said, is scary. And let's do a little test here. Let's just pop them in here. Uh, let me kind of slot that down in there. So I'm going to close them there in two separate things. Not very really much rattle in there. Now let's double it up for the fun. Just to see how much rattle there is if you did double it up. Are these two actually going to be knotting together? Sounds pretty quiet. I mean, Ozzy is going to wait a little bit because, you know, it's on a hinge joint here, as you can clearly see. But, I have to say that, you know, York, they made a pretty great product here. Like I said, the only thing that scares me is every time I open this up, was that big old loud, like, 4th of July firecracker popping sound. But other than that, I mean... Poises to put your memory card, poises to put your games, and if you want to, you could double up and put 16 memory cards and 16 games in there. Which is pretty awesome, because like I said, other ones, you know, you have to choose. Do I want to put a game in this slot, or do I not put a game in this slot, and I'm able to put my memory card, because, oh no, my memory card's in there, but I can't put my game in there. Like, you know, some Power A and other companies out there that done this. But I have to say, York. You actually managed to do a pretty good job that actually impressed me. You know, which was pretty awesome. Because, I mean, usually on Swiss products, they, you know, when it comes to game cases, they host games slash memory cards. They don't actually do quite a good job of it. But I'm saying, you know, like, you can't, like, as you could clearly see on the picture here, if I could zoom in a little bit. You know, this is how you usually have to have it set up for other game cases, you know. You put all your games in there, and then one cartridge slot, you have to leave completely open so you can put your little SD card in there. I like this that, hey, you can put your SD card in there, and if that spot's occupied by SD card, but you have another Swiss card, you could sandwich it. Put your game co your card, your Swiss card, on top of the SD card. Other companies that made the parts, they don't do that. Which I think that they should really take a look at because your it's kind of like a no-name brand. You know, not as famous as, you know, like Power A or companies like that. But other companies, they should really look at this and say, wait a minute, instead of giving it one slot to put your SD card, but you can't put your game in there, why not we take an idea from your yo over here that, you know, SD card and game go on top of each other and there's still room to close and fit everything. Hey, like I said, they did a great job. Definitely, you know, for the $7.99 full price, is it worth it? Kind of, compared to the other cases out there. If you get it for $2.97 over at, you know, GameStop, if you're GameStop hands that have on clearance, hey, definitely pick it up if you're a Switch user. Do not pass out on this, because this is one, so far one of the best cases that I have seen that I have reviewed. So yeah, definitely, that has been an awesome one. So yeah, that's been the unboxing review of the Nintendo Switch. Yo, game carrying case with screen protector that holds 16 game cards. Screen protector, applicator, queen co-op, and the game case. So yeah, remember to wait, subscribe. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. Alright, thanks, bye.